Hello again guys, welcome back to e 0 vov um, It's been a little while since I've done any technical projects to show you. This one I've been a bit guilty, I've kept it sat indoors doing nothing. Uh, basically I've built myself a 10 dB attenuator, which I've um, done one before, but this one's a little bit different. This one is now going to um, be automatic, and uh, so it takes 10 dB off the top of the signal, and then on receive it switches itself out so we've got a full normal quality of receive now I really wanted that for the purpose of running whisper um, I run a whisper light and whisper if you're not aware of it do a Google search but basically whisper is weak signal propagation reporter you send small signals very very small signals into the ether and uh, Basically, all we need to do then effectively is you have other stations around around the world receiving and they give you signal reports um, and the full breakdown of the, everything to do with your transmission. But you need to use milliwatts. Now, I run a thing called Whisper Light by Soda Beams. Hopefully, the camera can do something with that. So, this is a little Whisper Light. This only pushes out 200 milliwatts flat out. That is the maximum. But that is the equivalent of of a uh, kilowatt on sideband. Now because of that you normally need to run very low power and obviously as I say we get down into like the milliwatts, certainly 200 milliwatts is more than ample for the job. But the problem I want, I have, is I need to make sure that I can actually run two stations because I want to do an A and B. I want to test two antennas at the same time. That's where the problem comes from. That's why I've started to build this small little gadget here. Now this is my attenuator, as you can see it's got a normal receive and a uh, no receive. This is so I can run two stations on the same site at the same time. A uh, six pin miniature DIN plug here, which plugs in the back of my FT817 to control the internal relay in this box. So let's open this box up, show you what we got inside and then we'll put it on test. You can actually see the results of how it works. Down buried in there is a PC relay, PC print circuit board type relay, very very small, 12 volt relay and he's a double throw, basically he throws transmit and receive in and out to actually activate the um, attenuation circuit. So basically when that flicks in and out that makes you get good rec you know, full receive or and attenuated transmit for the 10 dB that I require. Right. I can run my FT817 at one watt, which will give me a hundred milliwatts coming out from the back of here. And that means I can run this at a hundred milliwatts as well, so I get the same signal from both. So here we are all set up and ready to roll. Basically all we've got here is we've got our power meter sat over here on a dummy load. We've got our attenuator in line. It's plugged in through the back of the radio into the accessory socket. So we've got that used for powering up the relay and basically if we power the radio there we go, we'll just switch it across to something like FM Yeah, I got rid of that. Okay, so we're now on FM together and ready to roll. We've got our power meter over here we've got our attenuator in line just down here. Now the attenuator is switched by the accessory socket on the back of the radio plugged in just down here and basically it's always going to be permanently in so we're on 5 watt setting at the moment so we just turn take this out of here to stop the attenuator doing its job and we'll bring this up in front of you and if I key up see we've got 5 watts because the attenuator is not switched in if I put that back down there, we'll plug the attenuator switch control circuit in, to say straight into the accessory socket of the radio. Now it will only attenuate when I transmit, as you can see. Now bearing in mind this this power meter is not calibrated to the sort of power we're trying to record here. We're trying to record about 500 milliwatts, which at the moment is showing more like about 800, but we're not going to worry about that. That's purely just the fact that this meter is too far out of its uh, calibrated zone. So the fact is, it is attenuating it extremely well. 
it's doing what we need it to do and as I say the actual switch on the front is purely there for the purposes to actually attenuate the receive down to the point that it's shortened it to ground so the radio can't receive but when you transmit it will just go through the attenuated circuit as designed I'll put a picture of the uh, circuit that we worked with up on uh, the screen for you now and as you can see it's pretty straightforward it's only one relay and uh, basically if you follow what I've done on there you could also do one of these to a good standard um, the box is from eBay about three pounds including post from China a couple of SO239s on the back